Why did the chicken cross the playground to get to the other slide? Can you come this side? Maybe we can take. Yes. Can you change it a little? Vladimir, go and hold his hand. Ah, yes. Type something in the computer. Something in the touch. The mission of the robot uh, is to actually incorporate it into lesson plans so teachers can actually visit Einstein and incorporate like a lesson plan or a curriculum to understand actually what Einstein was doing. And it's a very interactive experience. Uh, students can ask him questions, he can answer back, or he can even facilitate uh, to teachers to actually deliver a lesson more effectively. Can you tell me an experiment about time relativity or how I can do an experiment in my class? You could try constructing a simple pendulum with a long string and a heavy object, like a weight or a ball. You can then swing the pendulum back and forth at different rates, enabling you to measure its frequency and period. By doing this, you can show how the period of the pendulum changes depending on the gravitational field in which it is placed. This experiment demonstrates another consequence of relativity known as gravitational time dilation. The first means a touch screen. It was designed basically to combine the movement with the brain. So it's a touch screen, and also we. We, it was like gonna be like a game, so the kids can interact with him uh, and see what Einstein was doing. Now the second screen now is directly connected to the brain with the ChatGPT. So you see actually here what the robot is recognizing before it sends the signal to the computer to change the voice. So the computer also has been used to to change the voice of the of the of the, of the, of the robot to sound like Einstein. So it's two things. Is ChatGPT connected through this device here, and also you have the voice commands that pass through the computer and changes the voice. So you have like a more original experience rather than just a small device. So it's a collaboration of a lot of technologies together. I'm sorry. But I need to clarify the context and the topic you want me to talk about in order to provide an appropriate response. Could you please give me more details? From this experience, uh, all of the participants, uh, the teachers, the kids, even the school, they got to know ChatGPT. They're not scared of the technology anymore. They are not scared of, or they are not scared of AI. So uh, they learn how to critically think, to solve problems. They are, and it's a very good example of STEAM education. So we had a problem, we used technology, mathematics, engineering um, to solve an actual problem, which was how do you incorporate ChatGPT on an actual scenario uh, in a secondary school education. That ensures that the object will stay in place and function as intended. Remember, the devil is in the details, as they say. Can I have the script service number from yes. this angle? To subscribe or not to subscribe? That is the question. Our appetite and our challenge dictate that we shall not subscribe. I don't want to stop it. What? I just hit my brain. You are referring to. Could you please provide me with more context? Einstein, tell sure. me a joke. Here's a joke for you. Why was the math book sad? because it had too many problems. <laughs>